So pause the video and I want you to read the problem first. Okay, the first parent is homozygous A and homozygous B and uh, heterozygous for C. But phenotypically, this A will give you dominant phenotype. B is also dominant. And C, even though it's heterozygous genotypically, phenotypically they're all dominant. So we want uh, progeny uh, with all ABC dominance. So we're going to cross second parent, which is heterozygous for A, uh, homozygous recessive for B, and heterozygous for C. You could do it separately. I mean, cross A's together. So we have first parent, let me use a different color. First parent, homozygous dominant A. When you cross that with, um, let's see, the second parent, heterozygous, we're gonna get, we're gonna get um, that, which is all, what, 100% phenotypically 100% dominant. And that same thing goes with B. When you cross homozygous dominant with uh, homozygous recessive, phenotypically they're all gonna be homozygous. It's 100% genotypically heterozygous, which is 100% uh, dominant phenotypically. Okay, so A crossing A and crossing B, we're all gonna get 100%, all the progeny will be 100%. Uh, phenotypically same with um, with the first parent, which is a left guy, this one right there. But when you cross, let me uh, erase this a little bit. When you cross, um, let's see, C's, we have different story. First parent is heterozygous, and then second parent is also heterozygous. Now when you cross heterozygous, heterozygous, we have... Uh, no, I'm sorry. We have a dominant, and then another dominant, phenotypically, and another dominant, but one fourth will be homozygous recessive. Okay, so we have three fourths getting dominant trait phenotypically, and then one fourth recessive phenotypically. Okay, so we have a hundred percent with uh, first parent, B is also 100%, but then when we cross heterozygous with heterozygous for C, there's a three out of four chance that it's going to be dominant because we want the dominant trait. So answer is three over four. In this case, it's C.